that you can overcome. There is no unforgiveness that you can overcome. And I feel excited in the presence of the Lord. Jehovah Lord is my Lord. Jehovah Lord is my fortress. Jehovah Lord is my deliverer. Jehovah Lord, Jehovah Lee, uh, Jehovah Rafa, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah who restores the heart, Jehovah who restores the heart. I want to speak to your heart right now. I want to speak to your heart. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the word, the condition of your heart. The condition of your heart. That's the message in a couple of minutes. And I believe that God is going to bless us. Amen. 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 The condition of your heart. That is the message today. I am sure I'm not going to finish. Kwa sababu. Aha. Time, time, time. But I want to speak about the condition of the heart. I know man is uh, a spirit that lives in a body that has a soul. And uh, the, all of that live in a body. And man has a tendency of concentrating on the body. Uh, yeah, that's why sometimes you're going somewhere. This is more so to ladies. But even nowadays, uh, men, we are also affected. You're going somewhere. And you're so much concerned about how you look. And by the way, tell your neighbor, you look wonderful. You, you, look, one, or you look wow. I can see you had time on your mirror. Ah, yes, yes. You had some time in, on your mirror. Yeah, including men. manager. Yes, you had some time to check how you look, how you appear on that mirror. But uh, tell your, uh, uh, ask your neighbor, but how is your heart? Yeah. You know, sometimes eh, you're going somewhere, especially with a lady, eh? We are going somewhere with my wife, and she's like, hey, yeah, 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 let me, let me just, let's just have this one more minute. Eh? I want to check if I'm okay. Hmm? Yes, yes. She's like, you know, you know, and that's the tendency. Hey, we want to check. Hey, this trouser. Indio, nilikuwa na yojana. What was I saying, by the way? Hey, what can it change? To see it, we come on the wingi that we come to the mwita katrao. Jua likuwa na trao moja. Alikuwa na iva almost the whole week, a whole month. You know, and people are so concerned. You know, I can see some ladies you've got. I don't know what we call this. But ume apply and juutaki kuonekana mshage. You know, you concentrated. Eh? I can see men like me. Eh, tumeenda kinyozi. Umeangali wa vizuli. Tu side bands. Tuna, tuna shuka. I can see some of us. We are very keen. You know, I want to have a flat tummy. You know, eh, and I have to wake up every morning before I go to work. I do some sit-ups. Eh? Yeah, because I want my body to be okay. Yeah. I just still want to feel young and a girl, you know. And, and that's the feeling. By the way, you are concerned about your biceps. Eh? And by the way, you are big at easy. Sometimes you are... You know, you know, and you are like, yeah. That's that's the tendency. I'm Nairobi sometimes, very early in the morning. I'm going to go to Jamali nunu wa gari. Lakini ya kalia laiza atachapa mapema. Mwili yake itaisha. Kwa hivyo jamana abuka asubui. I can see women along thicker road. Waking up very early. To jog around because they want to be fit in their body. They want to be okay. Hata ukiambi wa ujamp. You're like, you know, I'm fit. You know, ukiambi wa bebe hizi vitu na. Sema, hey, mimi ni yule mse. Nikona biceps, triceps, aticeps. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sindio? That's the tendency. But ask your neighbor, how is your heart? How is your heart? <coughs> how, how many minutes do I have? The, the, the maximum I can have so that I know how I'm going to dissect. Come and see you. 15. 15 I can't finish what I want to do. But... Because this is a deep message. Because this is a secret of life. I, I, I know one time I will finish this message. But let me go slowly. So that later I will build up on it. Even if it's 10 minutes. Then later I will build up. The secret of life is heart. It's not the body. You know. Why I'm saying this. One day I saw a beautiful lady. And that time I wasn't married, eh? and I, I just got attracted. And this, this normal, if you are above 15, 
and you've never been attracted to opposite sex, then you need to see a doctor. That's normal. The only thing we need to have is self-control because it is the fruit of the spirit. So that happens. But sometimes you can see beautiful lady, handsome men, still they're not married. Sometimes it's not about rooks. It is heart. The secret of life. There are people who are very good looking. When I in the interview na masuti, wakiwa medunga. Lakini, later, wanapata job because of how they looked and perhaps their CV and their success. But later, wanafutua job. The problem is not how they looked. The problem is the heart. And no wonder, I, I want us to lead a scripture. You realize when Jesse went to Uh, not Jesse, but Samuel, went to Jesse's house to anoint a king. The first time, I, I want you to go and read. Let me give you time. You go and read First Samuel chapter 16. Samuel went to the house of Jesse to anoint a king. And God tells him, go and say to the elders that you are going to and, uh, do a sacrifice for the Lord. Because he was feeling uh, Saul would kill him. Because he is anointing a king. And God tells him, go and say, you are going to sacrifice uh, for me. But upon reaching that place, he knows the mission he has come to do. Has come to anoint a king. And you see, humanly speaking, there are those people you see for the first time. And you're like, this is the person. Manager, I don't know whether you have ever interviewed people. And how they look. And how they appear, you can give them a job very quickly. And this is the mentality Jesse, not Jesse, but Samuel had. The first time he saw the first son of Jesse, Eliab, and there's a Shama and there's Abinadab, I think so, that I mentioned in that scripture. First Samuel chapter 16. He said this is a man. And God says an interesting uh, statement. He puts it in his spirit. He tells him, no, you, you are looking at appearance. But my, my God looks at the heart. And no wonder another scripture will say, out of the buttons of the heart, the mouth speak. That's when, whenever you see somebody stealing, the problem is not the hands. The problem is what is in the heart. What is in the heart? When I, I greeted somebody, I, I think I always make this joke because I was so surprised. You know, I'm afraid of greeting people. Even if some people, then another one I greet and he's like, The problem is that not that mouth that I just spoke. In. The problem is what is in the heart. So the secret of life, making it in life, the secret, the only foundation is how is your heart? How is your heart? What is in your heart? We may try to, sorry, let me use preachers. We may, I'm very careful. I'm very careful because I am a preacher, you are a preacher. I'm very careful. But you may, anything, and you forget your heart. And that is why we're having a problem. Even among the preachers in this world. Because they have stored some things in their heart. They still have malice in their heart. They still have something that in their heart that is rotten. And today, just like David, I want us to pray in Psalms 51. David sins. And, and, and doesn't tell God, just clean my body. Just clean my reputation. Watch and feature Iki to Nisione Kane. But he says, God, create in me a, a clean heart. After sinning with Bathsheba, after killing Uliah, he sings and worships the Lord and says, God, I'm so broken. And I think that's why the Bible says in Acts, Acts chapter number 13 and verses 22 that David is a man after God's own heart. And I, I would also be going through why God says that. 
Why did God say, David is a man after my own heart. But after sinning, David is full of brokenness and he is saying, God, create in me a clean heart. How many people here? You always tembele mtu flani. Shida sio mihu. Ati haiwezi kupeleka. Shida ni moyo. Umebeba nini? Are we getting what we say? Eh, how many people you don't talk to? Shida sio mdomo haiwezi funguka. Shida ni moyo. Why do people do what they do? How and where and and people speak the way they speak out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speak and that's why also i think is it david who has written in psalms 119 verse 9 that how can a young man keep his ways pure it is not trying personal discipline it is by hiding the word of god in the heart but unfortunately we are hiding what tiktok is saying in our heart we are hiding what was up status is saying in our hearts and you know when the devil wanted to confuse eve he introduced an idea in the heart you know the devil never came you know, the way we think in shaito kimodo kirai huogo keiro with several canines no he came with a still voice because what is important it is to change your heart it is to introduce something in your heart now what has brokenness do what has has as 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 heartbreaks do do they are stored in the hearts and that is why just for this service i want to talk about what is the heart and then maybe another time we shall look at other things the what is the heart yani kwa nini jamaa ko sawa hata haumu ina mwili hana shida lakini anachukua kamba kwenda kujinyonga eh kwani shida iko wapi it is because kuna kitu aliona it is because kuna kitu that gets to your heart something you saw something you heard Ulisikia mm, mamako akisema wewe ni wa bahati baya ukisikia watu wakisema by the way kimuondoke ndikie dead ulisikia Where did it go It went to your heart And why now you can't greet that person your heart is heavy Heart I think that's why God looks at the heart He tells Jesse not Jesse Samuel stop stop it's not Eliab There is another heart I'm looking. Samuel, it's not Abinadab. It is not Shama. There is another one. You you are looking at the height. You you are looking and that's how also God will supply you. When you want to marry somebody or you want to be married by somebody. He tells you 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 are looking at the lips. You you are looking at the, you know all those things. And God will tell you please pause a bit. because there is a heart that i want to connect you with what is the heart the heart is the center of our emotions the heart is like an engine and i'm not speaking at an organ that pumps blood physically i'm looking at the emotionality of our life what is that that makes mm, it is the, the heart others might interpret it as the soul it is our inner person it is the home of our character it is the kitchen of our personality so if our life was the circumference the diameter then at the very central dot of that circle is our heart but not emotions are stored there and that is why motives are stored there najua kuna mtu anaweza kuchekesha lakini he doesn't have a motive is like lakini ndani yake anasema mbwa wewe 
You can know because it is in the heart. And that's why people keep on speaking about uh, they are called um, kikulacho kingoni mwako. Because sometimes you may not know the motives somebody befriending you. The motives. Some people do good, but they want to be seen. That is called a motive. You are not doing good because it's good to do good. You are doing because you want to impress. That's why a, a young man is in church and he has noted already and he has come and he has gotten born again with a motive. And then when I Anaruka, focusing somewhere and you think, hey, this guy is full of the spirit. <coughs> but it is something, there's a motive hidden in the heart. And that is why God searches in the heart. Tell, don't tell me about his height. Don't tell me. And I'm not saying we don't make sure that we look good. It is also good to look good. But don't forget your heart. That's my message today. So this man has gotten born again. Not because he wants to see Jesus someday. The way you have seen. You know. The best thing, when you get born again, get born again because you have one motive. I want, I want to see Jesus someday. But this guy gets born again with a motive. He wants to woo a lady who is in church. What am I saying? That God searches our motives. Motives are stored in the heart. Feelings and emotion. Bitterness. And maybe I finish with Matthew chapter number, uh, was it 19? Yeah, I think as I was checking, 15, 19. <laughs> Can you listen to this? This is interesting. I, I have been reading verses about the heart. And I'm like, guy, I'm joking. I need to be serious. You know, when I want to challenge you, it is easier to challenge others. Matthew 15, 19. I just finished with this. Listen, we shall build on it any other time. 19 says, 15, 19. Listen to this. For ah, mm. are you still so dull? Jesus asks them. Do you see what? See that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and then out of the body. But the things that comes out of a person's mouth comes from the heart. And this defiles them. For out of the heart comes evil thoughts. Murder. Yani ukiona mtu wamechukua chuma, ameua mtu. Kuna yule jamaa aliua yule manzi. Yule manzi alikuwa sijui nini. Ah sijui wakakosana. Sijui kaenda, wakachezana kabaya. And she took an axe, or he took an axe, and killed that girl. The problem is the heart. What is in the heart? Adultery. There are people, who, he was not the first person to be heartbroken. But not everybody who has been heartbroken has killed. So it matters with who, what is in your heart. Adultery. The heart. Please, let's work on our heart. Sexual immorality. The heart. Theft. The heart. False testimony. Yani, wewe ni kusengenya watu. Kualibia watu majina. Kuongea ubaya wa watu. Na hata kama umeona ubaya wa mtu, sium saidi kuliko false testimonies. Na, na kumasengenyo. Slada. These are what defiles a person. But eating with unwashed hands does yani yani it ni vibaya unaweza nawa mikono. Yani ukikula chakula unanawa mikono kila wakati. Yani you are so careful. Kuna madam najua mwalimu fulani alikuwa anajifu ana anakula the way inastahili kutunza mwili. Daktari wanasema ukunywe maji grass nane kwa siku. You are so disciplined on that. Yani unachunga vile unakula. Three quarters of your plate is actually veggies and vitamins to build up your body. 
but you still not make it in life because of what is in your heart. We have forgotten our hearts. That's what defiles a person. I wish we, we will get more time pastor. Because if we are okay in our hearts, that's why I walked to a, a lady, actually, anauza mayai hapa, nilimuzia tresita, akakatana hiyo pesa. By the way, siku moja nilisikia niwe kaslika. Pastor, nilisikia kama, nilimuona akiuza. Nilisikia kama nwe saeta nizikonga, nishe. Na nikakuja ngumi, by the way. And I'm still born again. But in Kaskia Muntu Mungwa Kinyambia, remember your heart. Remember your heart. Mm. And I started filling that heart with the word of God. By the way, Nilikuwa Nataka Nizingonga Nishe, Nimpa, Nimpatia Hasara, Akinuliza Swali Suna, Joko and Fuzangu Sita. You know, I think it was 4,000 or 4 around there. Nika cut and ni fita hivi tasa hii na uza na mungu si agali au ote na uza muna don't worry can't say who it is because I actually forgave. What is important is I worked on my heart. Listen to what I did. Ika ka a whole year. Na bado na na nua kuingine na hanilipi. So mimi ikafika first year, first tunavuka mwaka. Then I felt God telling me that there are situations I need to work on my heart. One is forgiving other people if I want to be blessed. Forgiving other people. And this is one of the person I went to. So this time now, I decided to go. And then this time now, I'm smiling. Other times, I'm like, You know, uh, you know, ana unaweza hata unaweza muishi vibaya because of the heart, you know. You start saying, eh, hata naweza taka awapikie vibaya wagojeke, watu wa mkatae kuuza hii kagari, you know. And you are like that 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 that, that can be somebody's heart. But I felt God working in my heart, forgive that person. So nilienda kwake. Nikamwambia sasa usiondoke. Mimi nimekusamehe. Ile pesa nil, ulikuwa nayo usilipe. Nimbea George wacha bitterness unakasirika guy una nieta de haraka I'm smiling I'm smiling and then she's like hapana hiyo pesa nitakulipa nikamulipa si umekuwa na mwaka mmoja si umekuwa ukiuza mimi I'm not going to be heavy again I want my heart to be clean and mimi nime akaniambia pana George nikipata a a wacha tufanye hivi ndioone niko serious tuingie pale kadi ni kununulie chai nitanunua uko na udhoni sande ama mahali naweza kusupport nituwekee pesa kwa simu ananiambia George hapana hii mambo unafanya nini na wacha wacha drama nikamwambia si drama unikuwekee kuna mahali unataka usaidie ama pengine mtoto ana cha, chakula nikuchangie then she's like ah hey, hapana kamwambia the reason why i'm doing this god has told me to forgive you I've led my, the word of God and I should not remain angry even for two days. And I have sinned against God because I've been angry for you the whole year. Kamalizana. Two days later, a parent called me. Akaniambia, nasikia wazazi wa. Wazazi, wazazi wako alipata accident. Hai, ya, ya, ya. Sikuweza kukuja harambe. Tafadhali, na nikona kitu kidogo tu. Tafadhali wacha ni kurushi. He sent 10,000. Sasa hiyo ilipo wa marangapi. Kwa simu. Na harabe tu milimaliza. Kwa hivyo pesa ni ya nani. <laughs> Hallelujah. God will never bless you when you have a heavy. We are going to go through types of hearts. That people are manifesting in our society today. We can't. I wish I had time to to malizie na sahi ndio usiendelee na hiyo at ngumu the rest of the day I wish but wicked heart no I, ho- I was training them you know just to mention the negative hearts and there is also positive hearts hard hearts corrupt hearts proud hearts <laughs> I wish we can speak to that into details but what I'm saying is worked in our hearts sasa tukikutana na huyo mimi tunazalimiana mwingine alikataa na kaa battle yangu 
I wish I had the testimony, I tell you. But I have realized working on your heart, you've got to be delivered. Maybe we shall also look at how to work on our hearts, not just our bodies and makeups. And by the way, the rare makeups, see Vibaya. Eh, brother. I think I also try to check on my body. Sikai kuhoreka brother. Hata nikitepea hapa kangale. Munaona yu jamani kama kosawa. Sindio? But! Remember your heart. That's my point. Sasa, enda salon. Tengenezwa. Kuwa clean. Onga marambiri kwa siku kiweza. Ni sawa. Lakini! Remember your heart. Kwa sababu unaweza kuwa smart. Unaenda salon. Unaenda kinyozi every weekend. Unapiga... TZ uko sawa lakini even you not go far with the way your heart is let me stop there let's just up our i know we may not dissect all this word but god will be able to lead you as you work on your heart lift your hands and surrender to god tell god to work on your heart tell god to do something in your heart oh lord we worship you we honor you god Thank you because of giving our hearts. Our hearts is the center of emotions. Our hearts hides our motive. Sometimes we do things, but we are not doing them because they are good to do. We do them to, to, to entice. We do them to, 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 to fake who we are, oh God. But Lord, we don't only want a reputation, God. But we want a clean heart. A heart, a pure heart. In fact, I'm reminded, I was standing about the heart. And when I looked at the Beatitudes, I was so shocked that blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. You mean when you don't have a pure heart, even to see God, not only that time, even in your very life, to see blessings of God is very hard. To see God eternally is very hard. When your heart is wrong, and that is why I failed God. Help me to work on my heart. Hey, we are on a journey of perfecting our hearts, of purifying our hearts, Lord. Lord, we don't want to carry weight. We don't want to carry heaviness. We don't want to carry unforgiveness. We don't want to carry immorality. We don't want to carry anything that defiles us, oh God. Oh. You mean those who are doing wrong things, those who are aborting, those who are in pornography. It is the heart that is strong, God. Lord, deliver us, Jesus. You mean those who are murdering in this country, the problem is the heart. You mean those, those politicians that are corrupting without thinking about infrastructure, the problem is the heart. And I pray, God, David was a king. You make David a king. You made David a king. But David had a heart that honors you, God. Lord, we pray for our kings. We pray for our leaders. That they will have such kind of hearts. They will not corrupt. They will not take our money that are meant to build hospitals. You mean it is because of the evil desire of their heart. God, oh God, we will not be unfaithful to our partners. We will not be immoral. We will not be our hearts, Lord. Oh God, our hearts, Lord. Oh God, our hearts, our hearts. Sometimes we fail to work faithfully here. Oh God, our hearts have carried people. Oh God, we work because we are supervised. Oh God, our hearts, our hearts, Lord, our hearts is the most important thing. God, our hearts, bless everybody here. Bless these hearts, Lord. Bless these souls. Lord, remove that is wrong. Delete, format those, those applications, those schemes, those desires. That are wrong in people's hearts. Format them, Lord. Lord, let them stand for you. Oh God. Oh God. So that they may see you someday. So that they may be blessed. Help them to forgive. When the heart is heavy, when the heart is hard, you can forgive. The problem is not the mistake that was done to you, the problem is the heart. God, 
soften these hearts. The problem is not alcohol. Alcohol will still be there. Even if we try to pray against it in Jesus' name, sin will also be there. Even if we cast immorality in Kagari, it will still be there because we are in a world that is fallen. But what will make you stand, it is not the absence of sin. I remember when I was in high school, uh, uh, some people came to our school and they were joking. And they were saying, some of us are virgins because of absence. Yani wame cause opportunity. Whatever an opportunity presents itself. What will make you stand is the condition of the heart. That's why Joseph, his heart is right. And he's saying, I can do this against my Lord. I know we are weak, but I pray the Lord may strengthen our hearts. There's a psalm I was leading again. It was saying, may the Lord strengthen your heart. Because if your heart is strong, there is nothing you can overcome. You will overcome even feelings and emotions. You will even have control if it is in your heart. I wish we had more time to speak about the heart. This is a secret of life. And it's also the downfall of our life. Animals have no um, diversified heart like us. So that's why they have no conscience. Because conscience and feeling is in your soul and your heart. You beat a cow because it has eaten glass on the other side of the fence. Tomorrow it will still do. So when the conscience dies, it is the heart that has died. May your heart not die. May your heart not die. That's my prayer for you. In Jesus name. Nubie moyo safi Nubie moyo mpi Moyo wa kunyekea Nubie yumbie moyo safi Nubie moyo mpi Nubie moyo mpi Moyo wa kunyekea just stop there a little bit. An auntie of mine sometimes alikuwa mbeba acid kwa dashboard because he's looking for this man, this woman who is taking my uncle. You see, unaweza fikiria umekosewa sana uenda uchome huyo mtu uishi kwa jela for the rest of your life. And somebody told her work on your heart and you see your blessings. And indeed she did. And she worked on it. And finally my uncle aliachana hizo tabia and they are now together. But because of your heart and you also mess your life. And that's what is happening in our society. And that's why I pray God. Amen. Salimieni tu